Hello folks, welcome to Tech TV and this time Tech TV, Tech TV is on tour. We're in Spain. I spared you the flight, the check-in, the security and all that. I'm here now and I suppose you could call it Tom on tour because I've left Gareth at home and Gareth is hopefully hoof trimming as hard as he can to fund my next journey or my next leg of travel. I'm on tour with them um, on the Anka summer trimming school where we can hone our skills and it's also hoof health and wellness conference and it's a phenomenal event Anka have put a lot of effort into it it's not a stone left unturned for the participants it's been an incredible time and i just take you around the farm now and give you an insight into what's going on there's 720 cows or thereabouts on this farm in spain and they're really comfortable, really well looked after, and it's absolute honour and pleasure and privilege to be here. And I just want to thank Anka for inviting me out here, for being participating as one of the judges in the World Hoof Trimming Cup. And it's a pleasure and an honour to be here. But if you keep with me, I'll take you around. And the sun or the haziness is in my eyes, so I hope I am making sense and I haven't been out in the sun too long. Now here we have Daniel from Anka explaining the rules of the coveted Golden Hoof Trophy. As you can see, it is absolute a work of art. I would also like to take this opportunity to um, thank the Benulis family that owns Mass Best Farm for their hospitality, their food, and everything was just second to none. Catering facilities, absolutely first class. And I suppose when you add the sunshine, it helps. So I just, when we were here, I wanted you to all see the comfort that the cows were, their accommodation is absolutely five star. Fans, misters, comfortable sand beds, Great Roman areas, great feed areas, lots of drinking space, absolutely fantastic. Very happy, comfortable cows. Morning, Hans. How are you? Fine, perfect. Ready it's a great day. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Morning. Look at that sky. How Good are morning, we? Steve. How are you? No, my head's still left in the nightclub. Radio. It looks to be there. <laughs> but I do know what you mean, Steve. If you've ever wondered where your cow care blocks come from, this is the cow care tree. <laughs> I was very impressed to see the new Anka carry. Quite a sweet, developed machine for convenience and yet all the attributes of any of the other Anka range. Very, very impressive. I'm now come round to look at the silver bullet with its fold away race and this scissor gate system and it's all made from stainless steel and rather smooth. I actually was very impressed with Anka's innovation and build quality. While I love my KVK, I've learned to never say never. You ready for it, Andrew? Oh, yeah. I'm ready for it. You're the UK participant of for the uh, yeah. World Trimming Cup. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm feeling a bit nervous for him also, but we have an Irish uh, participant as well and he doesn't seem to have surfaced today, so maybe he's uh, been up late last night, who knows, maybe just catching up on the latest techniques. Painting the town red. Do you believe that's so? That's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew, good luck. Thank you. Are you enjoying the event so far? It's been fantastic. Good. Been really good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this afternoon. It's going to be good fun. It'll be good fun. It will we'll be good we'll fun. make it good fun. We're here to learn and have fun. Absolutely. And the sun shining. Those <laughs> beautiful blue sky. A wee bit of power. Nothing made. Just under the bushes, look who I've spotted. Colin is taking a call. This is our Irish 
participant for uh, the World Hoof Trimming Cup. So, Colm's feeling a bit shy this morning. Here we have the Irish participant for the World Trimming Cup and the UK participant. Are you going into this rival enemies or? Oh, no. There's no enemies here. I love your hat, Andrew. Mocking the pink. Yeah. I see all over there. Somebody with a wee cow very lame, is it? Yeah, it certainly is. And here we have the commencement of the first heat of the Anka World Truman Cup. I looked at these feet prior to the competitions commencing and I just thought they were a little bit overgrown for the time that was allowed to trim them. But I suppose it's live, cows come in as they come in and there's nothing we can do about it and I suppose everybody has to have a set time to make it fair. This is Colm, our Irish participant, just waiting to get started. I just know by the way he's jigging about there that he's just like a high performance car on the start line of a race and off he goes. We talk about the luck of the Irish but I think on this occasion it could have been not a lot of luck because it was quite an awkward foot, well over Rowan, an underrun sole and you have just X amount of minutes to trim the foot but all told in the situation I think Colin did the best job that he could. You're in a hurry, Daniel, are you? Fine. Enjoying the World Trimming Cup. Yeah, it's very, very good. Great aspect to the event. That's the job complete, and as you can see, it's slightly under her own sole, and now Column's on to the front hut. And it looks a wee bit easier to trim, but uh, it's easy when you're watching. A lot easier than when you're actually have the sleeves rolled up and you're involved in the trim. And there's a little bit of pressure that goes with it too. Everybody's watching. The world is watching. This is a very appropriate little cow for the Irish participant to be trimming on with a little green nose ring. And very, very appropriate as we've just recently celebrated St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, thank you. Good job. Colm, we could just ask you how did you feel that went for you? Uh, not great, uh, the back foot nerves a bit and uh, no, I just... I just you got an awkward back foot? Yeah, that we had an on-the-run sole. Yeah. I didn't get time to fix it. Yeah. The time ran out very quick. But listen, you don't know what you could do in the time, and that's what it's about. Yeah. It's all in the hands of the judges now. It's all in the hands of the judges now, yeah. Well done. Ah, no, it's a bit of crack. Great I experience to get taken yeah. part. Yeah, not too bad. I panicked a bit. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. So just while uh, I'm down here in the judges' corner, and I'm just looking at the score sheet, and uh, I am judging for. Just looking at it here for Spain, Canada, UK, and who else? Austria. There goes my pen for a start. Listen, we'll have to crack on with it. Here's the sheets. We'll have to get some points on them and uh, do the best we can. So, now my time to shine in Spain. Never mind the sunshine. It was now my turn to step in and become a judge on the next heat. It was interesting, challenging, and just looking at the different styles of trimming, but pulling it all together into a good functional trim is really what the judge's job is. We're getting there. It's a, it's a good, decent all-around trim, very functional. And here we have Andrew Fry, the UK participant, on his first foot. It's a back foot and a front foot on the same cow. Andrew's modelling out well there, looks good, nice healthy foot, which is a lot more 
probably easier to work on than the one the Irish participant got her Colin, but maybe I'm a little bit biased. Who knows? And now we have Andrew on the front foot. And just finish this, this in perfect time. And after the heats, these were our four finalists waiting to get started. So the judges are down here, we've been sent off, we can't be around any of the crushes because the finalists are trimming on the crushes and we just go back, we look at them, the feet, evaluate them and all aspects of a good foot trim and uh, we have to pick a colour and the colour will be then. How many people pick the same colour? It sounds simple, but then we're we're big trimmers, we're simple folk. So catch you later. The votes are being counted. So we're all heading up, and the votes have been counted, and uh, the winner will be announced shortly. So stay tuned to Tech TV, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. The UK. Technically now, contrary to public opinion, with Andrew Fry coming second place, he is technically now the best hoof trimmer in the UK. So one chance is, is the winner. Num on the day, number one, and we'll take home the World Hoof Trimming Cup. And now that is that guy spraying me with champagne. We've got some winning champagne rolling down in front of the camera. That's how close it was. So here we have the winner of the World Trimming Cup stays in Spain. Tech TV will be doing a feature on it. So here he is and well and truly earned. Terrific trimming and really, really happy for this guy. Lads, thanks very much. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. Your hard work didn't go unnoticed. So that's the end of the uh, summer trimming school and uh, the international hoof health conference. It was a really enjoyable time, really really enjoyed it and the standard of trimming was phenomenal. The World Hoof Trimming Cup stays in Spain. Bye for now and catch up with you later and if you like what you see hit the subscribe button and the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Now it's time to fly home. Bye for now.